One of the judges broke the rules when evaluating Kamila Valyova at the Russian Championships. The figure skater became the bronze medalist of the tournament. In the free skating program she fell from a quadruple tulip. Judge Fyadislav Babenko gave Valyva 9.75 for the composition component. According to the rules, in case of serious errors affecting the integrity of the program, which include falls, the score for any of the components cannot be higher than 9.50. Maria Taylor Lekina reacted to the words of honored coach of the USSR Tatyana Tarasova, who said during the rolling of the athlete at the Russian Championships that it is necessary to introduce control weighing at tournaments. Tarasova's words about being overweight? I know it myself, I tried every way I know how to lose weight, I kind of succeeded, but then everything back. And I just tried to keep at least this weight, in which I can train," quotes the words of Talalikina Match TV. Recall, at the Russian Championships, 2024 Taylor Lekina eventually became the penultimate, 17, having received a total of two programs 169.80 points. You can watch the skater's performance on our website figureskating.org. Elena Radionova noted Camilla Valiva's fighting qualities. Valuva won bronze at the Russian Figure Skating Championships in Chelyabinsk. Adelia Petrosian won. Even if you watch the starting content, Petrosian, understandably, if she does everything, she wins, it's math. But Camilla is good for skating at all right now. Because the girls who were with her at the Olympics don't go to competitions. But she finds the strength to skate and skates at a high level. Although she is going through a difficult period. But I think she will cope with all the difficulties, because Camilla is a fighter by nature, said the bronze medalist of the 2015 World Cup. Adelia Petrosian became the champion of Russia in Chelyabinsk, winning the competition. Ateri Tutberidze's pupil, despite falling from a quad flip, impressed with two quadruple tulips and beat Sofia Muraviova by 7.13 points. Yevgeny Plushenko's pupil after the previous failure finally delighted the audience with a triple axel, leaving Camilla Valiva in third place. The Olympic champion, who was in the lead after the short program, failed to perform the Ultra C. The competition in Chelyabinsk ended with the women's performances, where a real sensation occurred. Camilla Valiva was unable to regain the title of Russian champion, losing to her teammate and student of Ateri Tutberids. Adelia Petrosian's superb performance, including three quads, brought her gold. For Camilla Valiva it was especially frustrating, because in addition the pupil of Yevgeny Plushenko demonstrated a master class and for the first time climbed on the podium of the national tournament, ahead of Valiva. Maya Kromik failed again, falling from two triple jumps. Ateri Tutberidze's pupil faced problems due to her overweight and considerable height, which made it difficult for her to perform her jumps. Tatiana Tarasova made her remarks live on Channel 1, noting her excess weight and advising Kromik to skip a year. Tarasova criticized Kromik, calling her a fall champion and regretting her performance. Maya Kromik failed to receive high scores from the judges due to errors in her performance, earning only 95.90 points with 6 penalty points and a total score of 164.30 points. And RT columnist Elena Vaitskovskaya pointed out that the referees should have given Kromik lower scores. The score for Maya's components, 61.33 with a technique of 40.57 and the fact that the man, as they call it, did not get up off the ice, is a direct recommendation to declare the entire line of referees unfit and send them to clean the snow around tractor. Yes, I realize that's the way it's done. Yes, I know that it's not for the athlete, but for her coach. But aren't we ashamed of ourselves in front of other coaches and athletes? Wrote Vaitskovskaya in her Telegram channel. Alina Gorbacheva perfectly performed a quad salcho in the warm-up, but during the ride there was a butterfly. Because of the step out, one of the cascades was cancelled, but she still beat Daria Sadkova by 0.22 points. Gorbacheva regretted the mistakes in her performance, especially noting the butterfly that occurred due to lack of concentration. 
She stated that she wanted to do a quadruple clean but lacked confidence. She promises to learn from the experience and try not to make similar mistakes again. The top six skaters started with Anna Fralova, Veronika Yamatova, and Ksenia Sinitsina. All three girls presented clean and bright programs, delighting the fans. Especially warmly in Chelyabinsk received the representative of the Sverdlovsk region, who performed to the applause of the audience. However, medals were hardly possible for them, as they lack elements of ultra C. Ksenia Sinitsina demonstrated an impressive Latin, landing all the jumps successfully and standing out on the choreographic elements. Her performance brought 148.60 points and her total score was 223.81 points. Ksenia Sinitsina assessed her performance at the Russian Championships in Chelyabinsk. Joy, of course, that the competition is over. It is safe to celebrate the new year. For me the fourth place is like the first now. I am very happy with my result, all the girls are strong, and in such competition it is honorable to take such a place. All my goals have been fulfilled, now we can safely enter the second half of the season," Sinitsina said. Nevertheless, the fight for medals was extremely intense and the three athletes, including Miravieva, were not going to make any gross mistakes. Finally, Miravieva was able to successfully roll her program without falling, for the first time successfully performing a triple axle, which she had not been able to do before. Sofia Muravieva amazed the audience with her emotional performance, bringing them to tears. Performing for the second time at the Russian Championships, the pupil of Yevgeny Plushenko successfully performed a magnificent triple axle, including a double two-up. She decided not to risk repeating an ultra-complex element, focusing on flawless execution. It was evident that the skater lacked some physical strength, as the recovery process is in full swing, but she coped by performing all the elements, including complex cascades in the second half of the program. The judges were impressed with Miravieva's performance and awarded her 161.07 points. The final result amounted to 239.40. However, it was not enough to win. Adelia Petrosian impressed the audience with an even more exciting performance. Adelia presented a tender composition February, starting her performance with a fall on a quadruple flip. This did not confuse the skater, but, on the contrary, spurred her athletic excitement, then she twice perfectly coped with quadruple two-ups, one of which was in a cascade with a double, and then easily and elegantly performed all the other elements. Petrosian did not make any more mistakes, her every move was precise and elegant. As a result, Adelia earned 167.47 points, taking the leading position in the overall standings with a gap of 7.13 points from Yevgeny Plushenko's pupil. For this flip fall, I would even put a plus because no one else tries it, said Tatiana Tarasova noting the complexity of the athlete's technical set and praising her for her courage. For Adelia's courage and bravery, her total score for the two programs was 246.53 points. In the final performance, as always, Camilla Valiva took to the ice. Unfortunately, she did not manage to perform a miracle, the Olympic champion failed to realize her quad tulip and fell down again while performing it. All other elements Camilla performed at a high level, although it was obvious that she had difficulty in completing the program. The pupil of Crystal showed her bright black panther and was flawless in the image of a wild black cat. Her performance was a true work of art. Nevertheless, the skater herself was not satisfied with herself, after rolling, Camilla wrinkled her nose and shook her head. As a result, naturally, Camilla remained in third place, behind Miravieva and Petrosian. She really needed the quadruple tulip, she does it perfectly. She has a huge jump, even though she has grown now and her weight is different, she does it perfectly. But the program without the quadruple, without the axle, three and a half turns. That's a good program. Next she did everything she had in the program. She skated hard, but it will be easier from now on, Tarasova said. Camilla Voliva herself is not going to give up and, talking to journalists, 
promised to continue to please her fans next season. According to the athlete, her idol is Elizaveta Tuktamasheva. At my first Russian championships, I remember she said, this is the 12th or 13th tournament for me. And I think, I'm as old as the number of national championships she's had. I did everything I could. It wasn't great, really. But there are challenges, both height and weight. It happens that the weight does not interfere much, but at the moment it pressured me, added the figure skater.